to not buy a new construction home unless you can answer this question. What else is going to be built in the area? There's two main reasons you've got to know the answer to that before you decide to buy. The first one just has to do with convenience and lifestyle. New construction developments are usually on the outskirts of the city because that's where all the empty land is. It means you're going to be further away from the city of Austin and you may have to commute to get in to see, you know, restaurants, shops, other entertainment and things that you want to enjoy. So one of the things to consider when you're touring communities is can you really picture yourself living here on a day to day basis? Usually in high growth areas where there's a lot of development, you will start to see grocery stores, gas stations, restaurants, and other retail development in the area because commercial investors are not going to build something in an area where there's hardly any residents. So if you are in an area where you're looking around, you're like, I don't see the local grocery store. Where is it? That can mean that you're in a slower growth area or you're at the very beginning of an area that's starting to grow. So just think about that. Can you live there? Will it matter to you how far you have to drive to get to the other things that you need on a daily basis? Now, the second reason you need to know what else is going to be built has to do with the lot that you're choosing and the view that you think you might be getting. I'm gonna tell you a real life story. I bought my first home when I was about 25 years old. I was in San Antonio and I had fallen in love with a neighborhood that was kind of on the north side of town. I loved everything about it. I thought I had a lot that was beautiful. It had some oak trees behind it, just really pretty hill country views. So I asked the developer, well, what's gonna go behind this lot? And he's like, well, that's the edge of the community. So he wasn't really sure. So basically my yard would have a fence. I'd still see some trees, but then I don't know what's gonna go behind it. So I did a little more digging and that was going to be the future development of a huge shopping center. And that home would have been backing up to the back of a super target in the parking lot. So thankfully I decided not to buy on that piece of property. But I've seen it before where someone buys in another community and they're like, oh, this is gorgeous. And then they're angry later on because you know they, they're like, I thought this was gonna have a view, but now there's a gas station over there. So usually when you go into a new construction home or model, they should have a plan of what the whole development is going to look like. So always ask the sales agent, who's working at that model to tell you who owns the property behind it. If it's the developer, you need to know, is there going to be a row of houses right behind you? Is it a park? Is it going to be a drainage area? I've seen some where they put a big retention pond, you know, behind a section of homes. Does it belong to someone's personal private property? I can tell you that if you look out and you think, oh, that's a beautiful piece of land, someone else is gonna buy that land and build on it. It could be two years down the road, 10 years down the road, but just know that there's probably gonna be some development in the future. So really make sure that if you want a view lot, that that is a protected view and that no one can build directly behind you, or at least make sure you're comfortable with what the plans are to build behind it. That's the one risk of new construction is that as things are growing, they can also change over time. Now, this is not to scare you away of new, from buying a new construction home. I've bought several. I'm actually in the process now of building a new home, but I for sure found out before I bought my home with a view that there was nothing behind it. Ours actually has a canyon view and it drops off. So there's gonna be a floodplain down below, not on my home. But I know for sure that no one's gonna be building down there. And there's a big gap until we can get to a point where homes could be built way back behind. So I won't notice it. So keep that in mind and always hire an agent who has been through the process many times because I will ask all the questions that you might not think of. If you want to know about any particular new home communities or areas of growth in Austin, drop a comment below.